Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just this morning sent me this logo. A Minnesota Viking. I don't know if it's a football a football team. I know it's a football team, but I don't know if it's if that's their logo or just a Minnesota Viking person. So he wanted to know how to put a hairline around it. Well, I first asked him in back in an email. I said, "Well, that's that's just a JPEG. You can't engrave that." So to save time for the video, I've done a couple of steps ahead. But we're going to take that logo, go to bitmap, convert bitmap, go down to black and white, hit OK. It does it automatically, pretty quick. Now to save time in the video, then you would go to outline trays, clip art, and hit OK. Well, it actually did it really quick this time, so we're going to go with that one. So it normally puts it on top, and we'll get rid of that old one. We don't need it anymore. So now we've got a good, crisp, sharp logo. I think this is the same one, so we'll just use it because it's closer to my yellow box. And then, just because it's good and crisp and clean doesn't mean it's perfect. So if you can see white, that means it's not transparent. So what we need to do, go to Arrange, Ungroup Objects. Now, you know, in a couple ways, you could move these things out of the white way individually. And that sometimes that's the only way it works. But if you will click on your black and move it away, it's going to, it's ungrouped all the white. Then put your logo back, and you can see it's a perfect, crisp, transparent logo. Now, let's get rid of our yellow box. And I don't know if you've noticed my, uh, I've changed, I've changed the size of my paper to uh, a printer paper because I'm actually gonna, I figured I had a, I don't have a laser hook up to this computer, but I. I do have a printer and I just changed this paper size so we can see the preview. Anyway, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to change my nudge factor to five inches. Let's move this, see how far it jumps. It moved, jumps too far because I've made the page so little. Let's go two inches. There we go. Now make a duplicate of it. Control D. Get that out of the way. Take this one. Go up to a range. Break curve apart. Now you can see it makes it all black because it's broken the curves apart inside of it. Well, go up to your weld tool right here and create a boundary. Then just cursor that boundary over and you're done. Now I've got a hairline around so it'll cut out. Now his main concern was it was cutting out the interior parts after it cut it out. So let's just see, let's take away the fill. Well, I took away with my red hairline, I must have been. So let's get that out of the way for a second. Let's take away our fill and there should be no lines there. Because if you did this, then you would see the lines and they are hairline, but we're gonna no fill that and put our fill back in and move our hairline back over. So it should not cut, but let's say Sometimes it does. Well, the easiest way to do that, let's get our hairline out of the way for a minute. And I don't like it being that close to the wood. I mean, it's right on top. So let's go to contour. Let's go to effects, contours, and we're going to contour 0 0.05 to the outside. Hit apply. And eh, maybe that's too much. Let's go uh, 0 0.02, apply. That's better. Zoom in on that. Go up to a range, break contour apart. We just want to get the, the center one and delete it. Now we take our bar back over two inches or our hairline back over two inches and that will cut and engrave. Now, if you're not sure if it's got cut lines in there, one thing you can do and I do it all the time, is when you print, do not print a combo job. Do not engrave and cut on the same job. 
go ahead and engrave this. Don't touch your product. Don't touch the wood. Don't move it. And then go and grab just your contour line. And if you, you want to know if you've got it, you can just move it over the way. Go to print and go right here to selection. Select it. Now, it's only going to engrave that hairline. So it's only going to cut that hairline. So then, and I don't have a, a laser hooked up, but then you go to properties and press vector and it'll cut that out without messing up the interior parts. Anyway, I hope that little helped a little bit and thank you for watching.